What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through a couple of solutions that you can try. If when you click the power button on your computer, it shuts down, your screens go off, your computer stays running, the lights stay on, the fans stay running, etc. What exactly is causing it and how can we fix it properly other than turning it off with the plug or pulling out the battery if it's a laptop? Well, it's really simple and oftentimes it has to do with Windows rather than your motherboard and things like that. There's a couple of solutions that I'll be running through in this video now to hopefully get your issues solved. Hit start and type in power plan. We will be clicking on choose a power plan. In this new window over here, simply locate the one with a dot next to it, your activated power plan, and then click change plan settings. In here, click change the advanced power settings, and inside of here, we'll be looking for a specific setting. What we're looking for is PCI Express. Click the plus to expand it, then link state power management, and finally, the setting should be set to off. If yours is set to anything else, change it to off, click apply and OK. Then I'll simply head back one page by clicking the back button and then click on choose what the power buttons do. When you do this, you'll be taken across to another page. And if you see this, change settings that are currently unavailable, click this and click yes if prompted for admin. Now you should see your two power buttons or more here and what should happen on each click. Simply make sure that when I press the power button, the shutdown option is selected rather than sleep or especially do nothing. When you press the sleep button, sleep is fine here. Of course, a lot of computers will have both of these options when they only really have the power button, such as my PC case. Then after this, we'll make sure to disable Hiberboot. It's a setting that puts your PC into hibernation, keeps power going through your motherboard and things like that. So when you press the power button, it starts up straight away instead of having to boot through Windows all over again and load it from scratch. Hold start and press R, then type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T and hit enter. You should now have registry editor open on your computer. How this works? Don't worry. This may seem scary, but things should be safe as long as you follow this tutorial exactly. These folders on the left hand side can be expanded by clicking the arrow next to them. And when you click on them, you'll see a bunch of values on the right hand side here. What we're going to do is on the left hand side, expand H key local machine, then expand system, current control set, control. And inside of here, we'll scroll down all the way down to session manager. Then expand this and look for power, then click on it. Inside of here, we'll scroll down until we see hybrid boot enabled. Double click on this. And if it's set to a one, simply change it to a zero, then hit enter. Once it's updated, you can close out of the registry editor here. If you'd ever like to undo this, simply navigate back to the same folder over here and change the zero back to a one. Then we're going to go ahead and completely turn off Hibernate to begin with. Then we're going to go ahead and completely disable Hibernate so your PC properly shuts down when you tell it to. Hit start, type in CMD, and then click Run as Administrator on Command Prompt. Inside of this window here, type in Power CFG space hyphen H space off, then hit Enter. You shouldn't see anything back, but if you can type, it's run successfully. Now, beyond this point, if you're still having issues, it's a good idea to update your motherboard software and drivers, though it's not a good idea to update your BIOS. That can usually lead to more issues, so do stay clear of updating your BIOS, updating your motherboard drives and things like that are on Windows' side, not your hardware side, and are safe to do. All you need to do is Google for your motherboard, followed by drivers, and you'll want to download the latest drivers for your specific computer. If you're using a computer with an Intel CPU, it's a good idea to download the Intel Management Engine if you find a download link on your motherboard's website. If you don't know what motherboard you have, hit Start and type in Info, then click on System Information. Inside of here, under the System Summary, you're looking for your motherboard here, Baseboard Manufacturer and Baseboard Product. So I have an Asus Tech ROG Strix X570F gaming motherboard. That's the information here. And that's what I'd Google to try and find driver updates. Of course, Windows should do it itself, though they could be outdated, really old, or maybe they just didn't install in the first place. But anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoper here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.